So I'm here on the Python setup page of the King's Theory Computation website. And I've worked through the, the first bits. I'm assuming you've worked through these. And we've now got to getting started with Python and notebooks. As we note here, there are two different options for using notebooks with Python. Um, the first is running everything online via try.jupyter. And this is good for CoCamp, uh, but it's probably no, it's definitely not the way to do things uh, during term time on modules. Um, to complete your coursework uh, uh, and all the things that we do in the geocomputation module, you'll need to run Python from your computer. But in this video, we're going to focus on running um, running Python from try.jupyter, which is an online service. So if we scroll down a little bit further, um, using try.jupyter online to run notebooks. We click this link and we should get a new tab opening up in our browser, or you could uh, type in the address in the address bar up here. This is the page you should come to, Try Jupiter, and we're going to do Try Jupiter Lab. So we click on here, and it will take a few seconds to load up. Once we've loaded up, you should see a screen like this. This is the Jupyter Lab. Uh, there are quite a few different options we've got here, um, but the most straightforward way to get going with the Jupyter uh, Notebook is to click on Python 3 in the Notebook section. If we click on this, this is a notebook. We can start writing code in here and running it, and we get some output. We can also upload files to open and run as a notebook. If you come here to this top left tab and click on files, we can upload using this um, upload button here. So I'm going to click on that upload button and I'm going to go to my Dropbox folder where I have created a code camp directory. So I double click on that in Windows. And I'm going to open the notebook-test IPYNB file. This is also uh, found, this, this file, you can download it from the Python setup website. So we click open. Note, initially the notebook doesn't open up, but it does appear in the list of files that is available to you. So now you can just double click on that, and here's the notebook itself. And this is live code that we can start to type type things. So let's try our hello world. There's our code. And we can run that code by clicking on the run button. And here's the result from running this line of code. We can run other lines of code. And as it says here, we can add our own cells. If we click on this button here, we can insert a cell below. The type of cell that we want to use is shown here. So that's the basic functionality of try.jupyter online. Hopefully you find this useful. Um, this is just one way of running uh, Python with notebooks, and hopefully you can install Anaconda on your own machine, or it's already installed on machines on campus at King's, and we'll be using those during term time. But if you want to use these online versions for CodeCamp, that's fine.